Hey there, Scorpios. How are you today? I hope this video finds you guys vibing high, high. I said vibing high, high to the sky. Yeah, Scorpios. I hope this video finds you guys vibing high to the sky, Scorpio. Shout out to all of the beautiful, highly favored Scorpios. Shout out to all the Scorpios of the world. Uh, shout out to all the winners of the highly favored. So far, we have Elena... Um, Elena Charlotte and um, we also pulled a couple of others and they were not able to answer the call so to speak so now we're on Eve EV Ho and so EV Ho is the latest one to get repulled or to get pulled and hopefully EV Ho will uh, you know will accept if not we know how this goes we will have 20, 24 hours and then we're gonna add the name back into the pot and we're gonna win, uh, pull until we get somebody because, like, some of these people probably just don't subscribe to this channel, but then it's, uh, it's uh, they taking money out. So, my members here, maybe, you know, maybe I understand people are busy and stuff like that and they ain't on YouTube like that. But, like I said, if they ever come on YouTube, I always stress about hitting your notification bell so that you can stay connected with me um, so that I can give back. So, we're waiting on the call for Evie Ho to claim her $50 gift prize here and if not then another highly favored scorpio gonna get it now scorpio this here is a general scorpio the weather here like yesterday it was 70 some degrees today it is maybe the highest 50 some so it's like a 20 degree difference here and the gust of wind i mean it, it's like the, the the weather snuck in because it's, it's been storming here it's been lightning it's been really pouring down hard rain it's as if somebody came up here and just dropped it down and move on out the way. Uh, it, it may be my mind, but I, it just feel like the weather is just orchestrated. It doesn't feel like it's moving naturally. It feels like there's some help. Uh, something going on in the atmosphere, Scorpio. It, it, the weather is very, very, very peculiar here. Uh, so, um, uh, but yeah, uh, it is. Hey, y'all been if y'all been checking out the things that's going on in the world, Scorpio, then you know. If you know that you know, Scorpio, then you know you're going to have to trust in a higher thing here. Something that can protect you. Uh, something that is greater and stronger than this earth thing, this earthly vessel, this man thing. A uh, spiritual power here. Because the spiritual power is the only thing that's going to save you. And that's on for real. I don't care what's going on. Uh, remember, uh, some people could suffer. And if your perception ain't that way and your reality is not that way, you don't have to be a part of that. You don't have to be a part of the worrying um, of the worrying uh, club, so to speak, here. I feel like you can uh, accomplish anything here. Friendship, empowerment, strength. Ooh, look at you, Scorpio. And fertility. Ooh, they just came out. So we're going to take them. You got all these cards that came out. And I ain't going to read them all. You got trust. See, that's the bottom line is the trust. You have to trust. You have to trust in the things that you don't see. You have to trust in the things that you may not understand. You have to understand that things are working together behind the scenes for your greater good here. You're just going through this process here to get to your better self, Scorpio. So never be, what does it say? Never get tired or never get weary in your well-doing because you shall be rewarded. Your labor is not in vain. It feels like it here, Scorpio. It, rem it reminds me of the song. Y'all remember, um, what's her name? LaShawn Pace. His must worry in vain. Is my stress in vain? Wasn't that LaShawn Pace? She says, it in vain? Am I down here suffering for nothing, Lord? And the Most High said, no, you're going through it for a reason here. Because remember, even in the Word, and it makes sense because uh, it rains on the just and the unjust alike. And sometimes, you know, it seems like the powers, the, the powers that may be in pos a position of power and authority around your life, they're not in control, Scorpio. Uh, they're not in control. Actually, you are, Scorpio. So let's take a look at your, your energy here. Uh, this is the spell casting cards here. Because check it out, Scorpio. Now, your words can cast spells. Your words can create spells in your own life. And your words can create spells in someone else's life. Uh, I'm just saying, you speaking those things. You, it's so powerful here. 
So it's, it's almost like the universe is trying to help you connect with your higher self that you don't get so caught up in the physical because it's something so powerful that you have access to. You need only tap into it here. So check it out. It says lighten the load here. Lighten the load here. Whatever's burdening you down, Spirit say, it's, look, if it does not serve a pur purpose, then it has to go. Spirit hashtag, Scorpio hashtag, it got to go. If it does not serve any purpose, whether it's in your mentality, in your physical life, it has to go. Spirit is encouraging you to loosen uh, the load here. But you also have talent here. You have uh, uncharted territory in your own skills and capabilities. Your talents here. Your talents are going to feed you, baby. Your talents are going to give you the life that you've always desired here. And usually your talents are associated with some type of life purpose here too. Uh, so it's time to stop ignoring your gifts here. Uh, your talents here, Scorpio, who are you? Surely you came here for more than just to experience heartache and pain. Sometimes you need to uh, re redirect your focus off of them and that and put it all back in yourself. Tap into your talents, tap into those hidden gems that you have on the inside and let them just explore and let them just 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 come alive and just be great, Scorpio. Just allow yourself to just be great, Scorpio. And then you have friendship here. This reminds me of a spiritual soul trap here. I feel like the universe is opening up your, uh, the universe is enhancing um, your territory, uh, expansion here, uh, worldwide here. You're going to start marketing and, and interacting with like-minded energies here, Scorpio. And if you're not, Spirit is asking you to be open to it because I feel like there's opportunities coming your way where you can create some type of business opportunity, some type of business relationship. Um, I feel like, I don't feel like it's romantic. I feel like this is just what you need. A person to be there for you just so you can be there for them and you guys lean on each other here. It's almost like your soul tribe here. Uh, your family, your extended spiritual family here. Friendship, Scorpio. Friends. How many of us have them? Friends. The ones we can depend on. Let's be friends. Like no any other, where's your friends? Um, um, any other, <laughs> be friends <laughs> around the way. <laughs> Scorpio, what about your friends, honey? We always worried about that lover, but what about friendships? You know, friendships can really carry you a long way and you won't feel like you need a lover. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that sometimes friendships can lead to something more. Strength here. You could be dealing with the Leo here. Strength here. This is what's empowering you. If the Spirit wants you to recognize that you are more powerful than you may even think that you feel. So whenever you start feeling weak in your energy, just claim strength. Fight it, Scorpio. You have to fight it because you're way much more powerful than you may give yourself credit for. You know, situations and circumstances can have a second guess in our own worth. And it's not just a Scorpio thing. It's a world thing, Scorpio. But the universe is here to remind you of just how powerful you really, really are here. If you you use your talents, you're going to find out how strong you are. And some of you guys, your strengths lie in your talents here. And you're not even... You're not even living in your talent here because you focus on other things, Scorpio. Now it's, about, it's time for you to focus on you. Then you have fertility. There go that... Uh, Empress energy here, the divine feminine energy, growth, expansion, abundance, nourishment here, divine energy here. Uh, this is abundant energy here, Scorpio. Rebirth, born, a fertility. I mean, it's just like you have endless possibilities. And some of you guys, you have talents that are ready to be birthed here, Scorpios. But, but you're not going to know this because some things are holding you down because you need to loosen them. You need to kick, you need to look. You need to tell them lows to kick rocks, Scorpio. Yeah, you need to tell them lows to kick some M and F and rocks, Scorpio. Because once again, some of your talents here are are in your belly spiritually, and they're just waiting to come alive and ready to come into this world, ready to live, so that it can help you, and so that it can empower you. Because it's like you're empowering here, Scorpio. Especially if you're if you're powerful, you got strength here, fertility. That's very, very empowering here, Scorpio. And I'm seeing a lot of feminine energy here too, Scorpio. 
some of you guys may be dealing with, um, maybe you're some type of gynecologist here. Maybe you, maybe you know how to heal the womb here. I see womb healing here. You know, your womb can experience a lot of trauma. See, I'm saying masculines can experience these things too, but I think this is talking about the feminine energy here. It's almost like you're needing to heal your womb here, Scorpio. And your womb could be just so, you know, um, you know how they used to, to clean a DNC, something like that. Someone may need to get a clean. Someone may need to get their womb clean because you may feel like you cannot have a child. But once you get that DNC or whatever that cleaning of your uterus is, then it's going to open the door. That's that's part of your load. Once you lighten that load, then you're going to be able to uh, conceive here too. But empowerment means that you're not slacking in anything. You're very motivational here, Scorpio, in this empowerment. You, you encourage people with your gifts. And if you don't, now is the time. You have that ability to do so many powerful things in this earth. If you could just take the focus off of your own negative things in your life. Because Scorpio, get that. that's the quickest way to move forward and to uh, evolve. Is to take your eyes off of whatever mess that be going on in your life and try to help someone else's. Oh yeah, that works wonders in your life here, Scorpio. So the bottom line is, Scorpio, is that you're more powerful than you think. If you don't know it all, I'm here to tell you, you have your talents that are in your belly. Even right now, as we speak, they are ready to come alive. Somebody's about to undergo some type of um, outpatient fem uh, female feminine surgery. Um, you, may, you may go in there to get a surgery because maybe your men menstrual cycle is, is, is a lot. And so you may be going in there to get a, a surgery for that. But what that surgery is going to do for you is it's going to open up your womb. Okay, you're going to get your womb open. And I also feel like it is womb healing. God dang, somebody's stomping. I heard them stomping all the way next door and they're in their house. Oh, Scorpio. Somebody, anyway, Scorpio, like I said here, that was, that's kind of troubling. This, they heard them walking that hard. That, that, that was a, I'm, a ma I'm mad. <laughs> That's a um, mad kind of stump over there. Ooh. And we got hardwood floors over here. Oh, anyway. But anyway, Scorpio, you shall rise. You shall be like the eagle. Because with this fertility, which is that empress energy, she's very, very abundant here. And she knows her work. She is high commodity. Uh, she does not have to uh, settle because she's not worried. This empress is not worried. And it doesn't say empress. It says fertility. But fertility comes from the feminine energy. It could come from the uh, masculines too, but it's something about the feminine energy here, Scorpio. So the universe is telling you to uh, cater more to your feminine side here, Scorpio, because it's going to help you in the end. And the bottom line is to trust. Trust in the things that you don't see. Trust in the things that you don't know. You still have to trust, Scorpio, or you're going to feel like you can't achieve things, and that's not the truth. So underneath the bottom of your deck here, Scorpio, look here. You got the death card, your energy. See that? That's your energy here. There's an ending here or what is a transformation taking place. Because check it out. And I want to just keep on shuffling these cards, but I'm like, it is what it is. You have the king of swords here. Maybe this person's about to go through some major transformation because of themselves here. This person has a lot of confusion around them, Scorpio, whoever this may be. And this could be a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. It just seems like straight out the back. I mean, just right at the beginning of this energy, this is this King of Swords and the Death card. So I feel like for some of you guys, maybe, maybe this King of Swords is ending something here. Or maybe this King of Swords is going through a major transformation. So let's see. We're going to take the, the death card and we're going to take the King of Swords. All right, Spirit. What's going on in Scorpio's love life? Show me Scorpio's love. Wait a minute. Let me light my incense back up. I got this cute little... I can put all of my incense and all of my incense powders in here. My sage... And I think it's so cute. It comes with a little cute top. Let's see, I got a I got a heck of a metaphysical store right down the street, and I love that store just right down the street. <laughs> so let's see here. 
All right. So you have the death card here, Scorpio, which of course is your energy, Scorpio. You're so powerful. You're showing up in your own reading as usual. All right, Spirit, what's going on in Scorpio's love life? Spirit, show me, Scorpio. I actually had to turn my heat on. I'm talking about, I did not have the heat on. I was thinking about turning the air on yesterday. Who when it got pedicure today, and when I went outside, I'm like, God dang, it's cold. I actually had to let my vehicle warm up. <laughs> like, and the wind was blowing. You can hear them wind chimes. I love wind chimes. But it's been so much information out there, Scorpio. You hear about those objects in the sky and all those things like that, Scorpio? I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. It's a whole lot of stuff going on, Scorpio. Six of Pentacles, three of Cups. All right, Spirit, what's going on with Scorpio's love life? I keep saying I'm going to start my Patreon because I want to talk about some things, Scorpio, but I'm going to get to it. It's just one step at a time. I feel like I'm one person trying to do a million things, Scorpio. I need to be a freaking octopus. Oof. This is heavy. This is, wait a minute. Yo, this is some heavy energy right here. There's something going on right here. Now, either this is your energy or this is their energy. Because once again, there was a lot to start off with the death card and the king of swords. It's almost like somebody's going through a major transformation in their life and, and it, it's, it's hurting them. They don't like it. It's not comfortable. It's almost like somebody doesn't like this feeling here. It could also, it could also be someone is out of their comfort zone because someone is trying to approach you uh, in a new beginning here. And it could also represent you in that King of Swords energy, Scorpio, where you're detached here, but you know... You detach, you end to something, and you done got too cold, and that's not good. All right, Spirit, show me Scorpio's love life. What's going on here? Take it what it is. There's seven of swords. Somebody's not being honest, or I feel like maybe somebody wants to run away from, God dang, the towel card. All right, let's, let's do it then. Can't always be peaches and cream, can it? See, you are his showing out. Y'all probably didn't, didn't y'all didn't hear one on, y'all didn't lost it on somebody. Look at that, the death card and the freaking tower card here. You may have blown up on somebody here, Scorpio, and they couldn't handle it and they escaped. Ooh, let's see. This is interesting. You got Scorpio, Scorpio in this thing. Ooh, you got Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius with the Seven of Swords. All right, Spirit, what's going on in Scorpio's love life? Scorpio's love life spirit. All right, come on with it then. Eight of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries here. Fast moving communication here. <sighs> Travel. All right, spirit, what's going on here? Six of Wands here. Mm. So are you recognizing something here? Or something is about to get your attention? Two of Pentacles. Some type of indecisiveness or someone multitasking, someone busy, someone juggling here. They go to Sun card. They go to Queen of Pentacles. All right, Spirit, show me Scorpios. They go that nine of wands. It's almost like somebody wants some see. They go the strength card. Some of y'all dealing with Leo. That's sun card and that strength card out. Page of Swords. They go that Sagittarius energy again. Temperance. It's almost like it's almost like someone here is really trying to resist the urge to approach you, Scorpio. But at the same time, you may not pay, pay. it's almost like somebody may want to reach out to you, but they're indecisive here. I'm going to clarify this. This is different. 
cards do I need to clarify this? This thing got kind of intense. So let's see. I ain't going to assume nothing. I'm just going to clarify it. Then we're going to see. So you could have a Leo, Scorpio, Scorpio. You got Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And then you got Scorpio. Ain't no cups in here, Scorpio. Nothing but that towel card and the, <laughs> and the death card. So let's see here. Maybe you have affected somebody's life in a way that you don't even imagine here. Your ending may have brought in a tower moment to somebody's life. And they're walking around here like, like they don't even know their name here. But they go to Seven of Swords again. Why is the Seven of Swords that is showing up? Let's see. All right, Spirit, clarify this death. Let's start off with your death card here, Scorpio. That's your energy, Scorpio. Could be dealing with another Scorpio here. Could be dealing with another Scorpio, but that's stronger here. Leo. All right, Spirit, why is the death card here for Scorpios? Why is death here for Scorpio? Clarify death. Death. Mm. Ace of Pentacles. Mm. So some type of ending or some type of transformation is taking place in someone's life or some type of ending is bringing in a new beginning. Here's, ooh, shack it, lack it. Ace of Cups. Ooh. Healing. Maybe this is what you're going through. Maybe you're going through some transformation and in the process is opening up the portal. Now you got a new opportunity you got two aces in the star card, Scorpio. God dang. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. It's almost like your transformation is going to bring your wishes. Your transformation brings prosperous new beginnings, Scorpio, is what it looks like. Because with this, mm -mm, see, that's you every day, all day. Death card, ace of pentacles, ace of cups, the star card. It's almost like your transformation or a ending. But I feel like it's transformation because you got a new newness coming in here. So transformation, can't nothing new come into something that's broken and old. So transformation in your transformation, which could have been because of an ending, is a bringing in new energy to you. See there? You remember drop the low? Some of y'all done dropped the low and y'all done kicked everybody to the, to the y'all done kicked everybody. You done kicked them out your life. You turned your back and you're only focusing on you because some of you guys' energy may feel pushed and pulled on. You may feel uncomfortable a lot. You may feel has you may feel apprehensive. You may feel unnecessarily anxious, yet there's nothing you can do about it. That's because you're going through a transformation um, so that you can have this awesome new beginning. It's like the universe is trying to bring healing and it's also uh, keep you hoping which keeps your energy hopeful uh, so that you can get your wishes. And some of this is part of your wishes, Scorpio. See, your transformation brings in new opportunities is what I see. So what's up with this tower card for Scorpio? That's, that's your Scorpio energy too. What happened with this tower card for Scorpio? Clarify the tower. Mm. Nine of swords here. Stressed out, worry, can't sleep at night, overthinking things here. God dang. Five of Pentacles. Scorpio, check it out. The Two of Cups. Mm. So this is somebody else then. I feel like I feel like for you, Scorpio, you may have ended it with somebody. Like I say, you, you're in when when you end it with somebody, it brings in tower moments, because now this person is whoever this person is. They're not sleeping. Whoever this person is, they're feeling left out of your life. They should because look, you got new stuff coming in. See, this is what's coming in for you. You getting the money and the honey and all of your wishes, along with a lot of healing. You're going to be good. That's what your transformation brings. It brings healing and newness. And so, and it also represents an ending and a rebirth. So for you, you ended something, which also brought in a transformation for you to have new beginnings. Your ending with someone brought in this 
aha moment, this realization, this shocking uh, perception here, if you will, uh, of something because of you ending it with them. And what it is is that this is what this is this is shocking to somebody. They found this out while they were laying on their bed late at night. They couldn't sleep anyway because they was too busy thinking about you. Now you've already ended it, but you're not going through this like they are. No, your your ending bring, brings transformation in your life. But when you ended it with them, it brings in this for them. So obviously, this is somebody here who didn't take the relationship serious. It brought in a lot of stress, a lot of worry. This person can't sleep because they don't have your energy around them. See that? Now they're feeling alone and isolated. Now somebody feels alone. Someone feels like they don't nobody love them. <laughs> they, said, they said, don't nobody love me no more. Don't the Scorpio don't love me no more. I, I don't feel Scorpio don't love me no more. Is what they saying. See, this ain't, you had to go through your own thing with your, with your ending and your transformation. It wasn't easy for you either, but newness is coming in for you. So obviously this is somebody here who either they didn't give into this relationship because they're, they're, th this is a shocking moment for them. They didn't know that they were going to feel this way. Obviously see that this connection is affecting them now that you've left. Because it's not affecting you. You got new love and new opportunities coming your way. Now, why is this seven of swords? And now that's probably why Scorpio left your ass. I'm just saying. You trying to you trying to figure out why you already know why. <laughs> the seven of swords here, partner. <laughs> All right, spirit. Why is the seven of swords here for Scorpio? You can be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Scorpio. All right, this uh, seven of swords, which is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. Spirit, why is the seven of swords here for Scorpio? What is this about? Clarify the seven of swords. Seven of swords is the hangman here. So this is someone here because of their actions is starting to look at it from your point of view. And this is why it is stressing them out now, Scorpio, because obviously they made you feel left out in the cold in the past. And now they're, they're feeling left out in the cold. So this person is realizing that because of how they moved and how they treated, uh, treated the situation, uh, that things are at a standstill here. But this person is about to change their perception here. Like I said, this person is about to be enlightened because now that you're gone and they're missing you, this person has to look at it from your point of view. Clarify this seven of swords. Could be a Pisces. Came out anyway. Ten of cups. I didn't know if it wanted to come out, but there it is. See, this person is realizing, Scorpio, why you wanted this relationship. They're realizing this now, but you know why they're realizing it now, Scorpio? Because they ass is, is alone. They're alone and ain't nobody around them to love them. Ain't nobody around, not, not the way you did. And I feel like it wasn't, don't he got a big head or something, something. <laughs> you got a fade partner. I'm just, look, look, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to judge partner. My bad. See there? This person, you you was trying to give to this person, but I don't feel like they were giving back here. But they show wish they had it now because they would they would give now. But it's this person is, is is looking at it from your point now because now this person is alone. Ain't nobody with this person. They're up in their bed alone. This person don't have any goals. This person can't get this person wants to get back inside of your life, Scorpio. This person may not be taking care of themselves. They may keep getting colds. Like I said, now they're thinking about, well, goddamn, maybe selling down ain't such a bad idea after all. Ain't that some shit? Because they realize there's some heck of a benefits with that Ten of Cups because this show ain't getting it. See, then this is what they're realizing after this ending. Mm -mm. Your soulmate. All right, Spirit, clarify the Seven of Swords for Scorpios. Hangman and the Ten of Cups for the Seven of Swords. One more card for the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here, Spirit? See, I told you, see? King of Swords, there they go again. See there? 
Uh, yeah, there go y'all King of Swords energy again. That 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 air energy, see there? And this is what they're thinking about because they were cold. They were trying to act like they didn't need no love until until they realized it wasn't no fun. Uh, when Scorpio love is gone, because when Scorpio takes Scorpio's love, or when Scorpio's with you, Scorpio make you feel, or you just walk around this world feeling like you're so warm and protected and so gushy and mushy. But when you force Scorpio to leave, then you're going to feel the sting and you're going to feel the cold. So now this person is feeling the Scorpio cold because Scorpio is not around. So this King of Swords is having to take a, and I don't even need the Sun card because the King of Swords is an analyzer. They do take things in consideration on an intellectual uh, uh, standpoint. So this is this is what they're realizing, looking at it from your point, is that you brought in a lot. You offer more to this connection than they gave you credit for, obviously, Scorpio. You were bringing way much more to this connection than they gave you credit for. This could have been someone here who may have not wanted love. This could have been someone here who was detached. We know the King of Swords energy. Someone here who may have put their career. Someone here who may have felt feelings for you, but they dare not share it with you. But yet and still, it was a connection here with that Two of Cups. And now they're feeling it. They're feeling alone and cold. And they miss you. They miss you, Scorpio. They do. <laughs> It took you leaving them. See, but like I say, this ending is going to help you out, Scorpio. See, they obviously feel some. See, this person is missing you, but they don't have no idea that you got new beginnings coming your way here. Maybe, maybe with them. I don't know. So let's see. You got the two of pentacles here. All right, Spirit. Why is this two of pentacles here for Scorpios? What about the two of pentacles? Two of Pentacles is, <laughs> see, that that's why you probably left their tail alone in the past, Scorpio, because they were too indecisive here. They didn't know whether they wanted to be in or out. See, this person needs to deal with it. This person, may, maybe that's them coming back here. And they are aware of this, see, because here we go again, because they're regretting it. What are they regretting it? That they were so detached and unwilling to budge that they caused you to walk away from your emotions from this person. And now once again, but see, there is an opportunity for it because you see these two cups still sitting up. You see that? See there? Them same two cups, they still sitting up. But this person is all in their head with that devil card and that two of pentacles. They too busy looking at what was done. Instead of looking at what can be. And Spirit is saying what can be is this Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and the Star card. If they just get out their head, Scorpio, that's what it is. Because it's for some, for some of y'all, this can be repaired. That's why these two cups still up, which is the connection that you have with this person. But if they don't get out of that, that, that lost mentality, because you remember, they in the Five of Pentacles too. They in the Five of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and the Five of Cups. And all of this is coming from their dark or shadow side that they need to get rid of. This person is always one foot in and one foot out because, because they start overthinking things, Scorpio. See? They're regretting it now. They know it's their fault because of them. They may have made you feel like it was safe to be with them and then maybe they pulled back. This person is the reason, though, because you got that King of Swords with the Devil card. Mm. Now, what's up with this page of swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy? And like I said, once again, Scorpio, so it's almost like the universe is saying for whoever this is for, if this person is stop, get, if this person can just get out of their head, head <coughs> and not focus on the negative things about the situation and just move forward, then I feel like their mind frame is going to make or break whatever they have with you or for some of y'all, yeah, it's them. They're the problem. And so for some of y'all, if this person would take control over their emotions and stop focusing on what was lost and focus on what can be, then I feel like there is an opportunity here. I don't care what you say out there in the comment section. I'm telling you what these cards say. See? 
endings, a new beginnings, rebirth, transformation. See, then you, and then for others, you may just end it with this person, and now you're gonna go have a new beginning somewhere else. Either way, it comes something coming, something new and amazing is coming your way. Like I said, it could be this person, but they're gonna have to get out their head. They're gonna have to. I feel like this person ran. This person was running from connections with the Seven of Swords. They didn't want to false. They didn't want to face real relationships. And it's just because they overthink things too much. Oof. <sighs> now you got the page of swords. They're also watching you too, Scorpio. Like I say, whatever the situation is, maybe they wasn't given. They caused you to walk away because you need emotions here. King of Swords, That you know, they, they're, they're very intelligent, but they're not always openly emotional here. You know, you probably felt like you were given too much and you were just tired of it. So you walked away. And how ironic, they always want to find out what are you doing now. So this person may be trying to get in contact with you. You got the eight of wands here. Maybe this person's been trying to call you. Maybe this person wants to visit you. But they definitely, I feel like, want to talk to you. So some of you guys, maybe this person is riding by your house. Maybe they're riding by your job. Maybe they're talking about you to friends, mutual friends or families. Maybe you got a social media platform and they're watching you. Because once again... They want to talk to you. They do. And they may not feel like they can get you back. So let's see. Why is the page of swords here? Clarify the page of swords. Ooh. Maybe this person is saying that they took too long. That Knight of Pentacles. All right. The page of swords. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. See? <laughs> The page of swords, Scorpio, is the six of cups. See? See? This person watches you, or this person, all they do is reminisce about the fun times you guys share. That's what they do. They miss you. This person misses you, Scorpio. Clarify the page of swords. Look at your past life person. Person from your past again. Page of Swords, Three of Wands. See, this person is reminiscing about what can happen because, like I say, this person trying to come to you with the chariot card could be a cancer because this person is full of burdens here. And I feel like this person's burdens is because their conscience was whooping them because they didn't want to answer this call. But I feel like they're going to have to now in order to get this peace because, like I said, since you went, since you went away, they haven't had peace. Why they haven't had peace? Because you were way much more for this person than they ever gave you credit for. You weren't here just to be some stomping tool. You, you got emotions. You got feelings too. And I feel like they took advantage of it. And because of their, their insecurities or whatever this mess is they got going on, it interfered in the relationship. Now some of y'all then, then finally disconnected and you moved on. You may be getting a lot of attention. You may be see, receiving a lot of victory and successes. So they want to come to you. They got the eight of wands. But I feel like they're the wounded soldier here. Here go your wounded soldier person again, Scorpio. Oof. Let's see. Clarify this nine of wands. Of course, Scorpio, why is this here? Everybody wounded some kind of way. Look, but they ain't that god dang me wounded, huh? <laughs> Well, it does say that they have an energy. They're they're wounded, but they but but they're no they're no quitter. They're a soldier. God dang me, they gonna fight to the end. Heck yeah, they gonna fight to the end because they wanna use that big old ace of wands. <laughs> nine, nine of wands, ace of wands could be a Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, the high priestess. Ooh, see, this person is is not telling you how wounded that that they really are because I feel like there's no communication here. With the high priestess, could be a Pisces and the nine of wands. This person may not just openly tell everybody what they're really experiencing. This person may have some type of mental mental uh, setback here. Clarify the nine of wands. Clarify the nine of wands. Man, when that rain came, I knew I was going to sleep good. Now you got the queen of pentacles. So this is, they look at you. So this is what they're looking at you like. You're someone that's grounded. You're focused because they're watching you. This is why they want to come to you. They feel like you guys can actually do something towards the building the future with the three of ones and the chariot. 
So yeah, they're trying to come back to you with this Ace of Wands and maybe they want a, a higher level of commitment with you here. This Queen, oh, that's the Queen of Wands. Ah, oh, snap. <laughs> that's why they Ace of Wands there. Because you got the Queen of Wands and the freaking King of Wands. Ooh. <laughs> snap. <laughs> oh, you see what's going to make them come back alive, Scorpios. I told you, didn't I tell you? For some of y'all, what's going to finally get this person out, out of their sunken place is because they tired of going to bed alone. They miss you in their bed. I say they miss all that. <laughs> okay? They miss you in their bed, Scorpio. They miss laying next to you. They miss it. That's why you got that Ten of Cups there. See? Because this, this is the confirmer here. They're wounded, god dang it. And this is why they've had their guards up here. But they're not that god dang wounded where they don't want to come in and try again, god dang, because they're attracted to you. And they got a lot of passion that they want to explore within and all around and up and down you, okay? King of Wands, Queen of Wands. I thought that was the Queen of Pen. Ooh, <laughs> that's what's up. See? <laughs> I feel like the whole time this person's been trying to resist the call with that judgment call, the judgment card they've been trying to resist because spirit has been calling this person. And I feel like what has been calling this person is their other half. It's this. They've been trying to resist this so bad, Scorpio. Ain't that something? They've been resisting this call, but the universe has been trying to get this person's attention the whole freaking time, Scorpio. But they've been trying to resist it until they just can't resist it anymore. See, they want to come fast, baby. <laughs> Eight of Wands, or they want to talk, but they want something to pick up. They want something to pick up like it used to, Scorpio. Ooh, and maybe they want to talk to you. Love messages here. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Scorpio. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, see? See, this person wants to do something nice for you now. Now they want to be generous. Now they want to give towards the relationship here, Scorpio, because they know that they didn't in the past. This person was reserved and standoffish with this King of Swords. I feel like they were standoffish, but they only gave the bare minimum just to get something out of it themselves. But they weren't trying to uh they weren't trying to stack up nothing. They wasn't trying to build stability. No. Like I say, I feel like there was a lot of physical attraction there. That's what I'm seeing again. The eight of wands. Clarify this eight of wands. Eight of wands. Eight of Pentacles on the Six of Pentacles. See, there it is. The Temperance card. See? Temperance here. Balance moderate. See, this is what the universe has was, sent you in this person's life to begin with, Scorpio. Because I feel like this person was just too closed off the, the, till it was aging them. You know how you can be so, so dry and so disconnected till it just ages you because you don't have anything uh, happy around you? No, no type of high vibe and energy? I feel like you brought the high vibe to this person's life here, Scorpio. And I feel like this is what the universe is telling this person. You have to give and receive together in a partnership. You cannot just expect for someone just to give to you and you don't give to them. That's not fair. And I feel like this is what, I feel like the angels is talking to this person. Clarify the eight of wands for Scorpio. Why is this here? Could be dealing with the Sagittarius here. King of Cups, see? Now they ready to give love. You see that? They ready for love now, baby. <laughs> oh, snap, god dang it. God dang, baby. What they say? If you think you're lonely now, huh, wait until tonight, Scorpio X, yeah. Scorpio will be long gone, yeah. This your person. They're too lonely at night. See? This person's ready to love now, god dang it. <laughs> they say they sure could use some of your love right about now. So they just feel so alone. They just feel so helpless and hopeless and so lost. They feel lost since you left, Scorpio. Ooh. Take a sip of water. Ooh. Water is so delicious. Ah. <sighs> 
<sighs> now you got the six of wands. See, that's what it is. See, spirit was showing this person. How do you expect to have anything when you're one sided here? All in moderation, you have to give and receive. You wasn't given any emotions whatsoever. You wasn't given the love that was given to you because this is exactly what Scorpio came for. She didn't just come just to pour in your cup. What about you pouring back in hers? They didn't want to in the past. Now they're seeing this. Now the King of Swords. And now they're coming back to you in the King of Cups energy. Full of love. Huh? Now you got the Six of Wands. Spirit, why the Six of Wands here for Scorpios? Six of Wands, see, ah, uh, the Nine of Cups. See, someone wants happiness. They want to be successful in being happy here because I feel like someone hasn't been happy in a while, and that's the cold-ass King of Swords, see? Because this person stays stuck in their thoughts for all of their time here, refu refusing to see things because it, it challenged them too much. They wasn't used to anything that, that was emotional because it was just too much. This person wants to be happy, though. You're the one that brings them happiness. You're the one that introduced them to happiness. Clarify the Six of Wands for Scorpio Wise this here. I think they're going to have a water burger. See? 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 Death. See? Transformation. This ending bringing in a new beginning for this person as well. What happened to this person, Scorpio? There you go again. I told you, see, I told you, I told you, Scorpio, I told you, your, your ending with them, with that death card here, Scorpio, is the thing that's making this person transform. And now their, their perception about their partners and how they're supposed to treat their partners are different now. There go the lover's card, Gemini. For some of y'all, Scorpio, this person was taught differently they wasn't taught nothing about how to treat no relationship here they were just winging it they were going based on what they thought they should do it's almost like dealing with this king of swords you need to have your own everything because it seemed like this was somebody who was cold and stingy and wasn't giving nothing but they would take everything you give but they wasn't going to give anything and did not give a damn about it make no apologies about it very cold but this is why this person is reevaluating re their life because they understand that you brought something very, very vital to them. Now you have strength, which is Leo's energy. I feel like this person was fighting it. They was fighting, fighting, fighting the urge to fall in love with you. But I feel like they failed. Clarify the strength card for Scorpios. Could be a Leo. You got Leo, Gemini, Scorpio. Scorpio, Aquarius, the Hierophant. See what they were trying to keep from giving? <laughs> that Ten of Cups, that relationship got dang me. They was trying to resist it, but they showed which they had it now because this person feeling all types of alone here. See? Justice card here. Scorpio, check it out. The Four of Wands here. But guess what? They don't want to fight it no more. They go to seven of wands in the reverse. They're letting their guards down. See, it's, this person is like, they was fighting this connection the whole time. But with this justice card here, Scorpio, they're realizing that they were, it was imbalanced connection because they were just taken. See, this is what they were doing. This person was, what is that? The Hierophant. This person was holding themselves back from committing to this connection here. But now they're realizing that that wasn't fair and that they wish they did do better here. And I feel like they want to come back and give you this connection. Because like I say, if you was in heavy with this person, y'all really was on y'all way. This person is tired of being alone because this person, some of their karma is for them to experience this, this loneliness and isolation here, Scorpio, especially if they already had you there, but they took it for granted here, Scorpio. Like I said, they're letting the guards down because now, that, now they're going to want to talk with this eight of wands here. For some of you guys, they're going to come in with some type of apology here, or maybe they're just going to try to take it slow with you. 
but it's, it's about divine timing. It's fate. It's destiny. Because some of you guys, you're supposed to be with this person. You just had to go through this cycle, this mess with this person, but you had to learn your lesson too. You didn't need to go down with them. Just get the lesson out of it and move on. As soon as you move on, everything changed. Because it looks like as soon as you let go of this connection, everything is changing for you, your person, and even for your connection. Like I said, Scorpio, for some of you guys, you have the opportunity to reconnect with a soulmate because now they're enlightened. Now they understand. Now, now they feel it. Now they get it, so to speak, and they're ready to try it with you. While other Scorpio, you've ended it with somebody, you're adamant about it, and you have a whole new life that's coming your way. It's about to give you everything you've always desired. It's about to come true. And that's just point blank period. Either way it goes, Scorpio wins. And that's what I see, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, this is your reading. So if it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, Scorpio. Leave me a comment, and I'll talk to you in the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpios.